I definitely used to have a stereotype in mind of like what I thought the typical homeschool mom looked like and acted like. And in my mind, she was like basically Amish and all her kids were pretty socially awkward. <laughs> Boy, could I not be more wrong. So if you're like me and have had the same preconceived notions, today I want to try and burst those stereotypes because I have met so many incredibly different types of homeschool moms just here on YouTube. In addition to real life, I have asked those YouTubers to join me today and sharing just some unique things about themselves that might surprise you guys that us homeschool moms are like. <laughs> and so I've got a playlist linked below. I highly encourage you to check that out next. Basically, I just wanted to chat with you today and kind of share a little bit about myself, get to know me a little bit better. We're just waiting in the car for my son while he does karate. So I figured I'd chat with you guys during this time. First of all, I did not always know that I wanted to homeschool my kids. And still there are days where I just want to throw in the towel. Um, and I never wanted to be a teacher. It's not like I had that desire and that led me to homeschooling and teaching my kids. Um, no, it was really kind of a struggle and still some days is for me to figure this thing out and thank the Lord for YouTube. Like I have learned so many amazing things from the other homeschool moms that are here on YouTube. Number two, I hate reading. <laughs> I feel like I should be embarrassed to say that, but I'm, I'm not really. <laughs> um, I will listen to audiobooks and I love podcasts to like consume information. But as far as like entertainment goes, I'm never going to choose a fictional book to pick up and be entertained. Um, yeah, that's me. Thankfully, my kids are not like that. And so far they do love to read. I think that's amazing. I used to play drums in the praise band at church growing up. I don't have a full set anymore, but I still like to play. Um, it's called a cajon and it's super fun. That is like a big passion of mine. I love playing the drums. <laughs> Hanson, anybody remember that band? Zach is literally the reason I started to learn how to play the drums back in sixth grade. Had a huge crush on him. There you go. <laughs> Number four, I was married at 19. <laughs> We were babies. We met when I was 12 and he was 13 and started dating when we were 16 and got married very young. And I would not change a thing. It's been amazing. Number five, I am not a good cook, despite the fact that I am a stay at home mom and have been for a long time. My kid, oldest kid is 10, still struggle in that department, I tell you. My husband is a phenomenal cook. So he actually cooked, like only he cooked for our first like six years of marriage. Yeah, finally when our first child was one and I was staying at home, I was like, oh man, I feel bad that he's working all day and coming home and cooking dinner. I guess I should probably start learning how to cook. <laughs> and it's been trial and error ever since. Number six. I actually have a bachelor's degree that I don't use anymore. <laughs> um, I went to VCU. I'm originally from Virginia. Let me know if there's any Virginia folks on here. And I worked full time in an office before we had our first child. And then I thought, I don't know how I'll go back to work after this. I really, really want to stay home with him. But like financially, that seemed really difficult. And so we just prayed and prayed and prayed about it. And my husband started applying to other jobs and ended up getting something during his like paternity leave. We both said, wow, okay, there you go. Thank the Lord. And I was able to stay home. Number seven, I am a fan of screen time. <gasps> <laughs> of course, we have our limits, but every single one of my kids has their own iPad. I happen to think that Minecraft is really awesome. I love seeing them build stuff on there. I do think that's really good for them. And they have other educational apps on there, like Hooked on Phonics. And when they were little, they did like endless ABCs and that helped teach them their letter sounds. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. They of course have other stuff that's just like silly to play with. I'm a fan and it's nice for them to have that playtime. They love it and enjoy it. And we do live seven hours away from home. So it is a great way to help them be entertained when we take those very long trips that we take pretty frequently throughout the year. So big fan. 
big fan. Before we move on to the next one, if you're new here, my name is Sarah and I do have four kids from the ages of 10 to four. And the purpose of this channel is to empower other homeschool moms to have the confidence, tools, and encouragement to homeschool your children and know you're doing a great job. So be sure to subscribe and join me here every week. Number eight, I put applesauce on my mac and cheese. Number nine, I was homeschooled through second grade and then I went to public school for third through sixth grade and then I went to private Christian school for seventh through twelfth grade and I graduated as valedictorian of my class of five. Yes, I am very, very smart. <laughs> Number ten, I have quite the sweet tooth and don't go a day without eating a couple cookies. Chocolate chip cookies are my fave. Let me know down below what your vice food is. Okay, those are some random facts about me. Hopefully you feel like you know me a little bit better and I'd love to get to know you better as well. So leave me some interesting facts about yourself in the comments below. If you can relate to any of these things, let me know. We're all in this together and I'm super thankful for that. Be sure to watch this playlist next to see the other awesome homeschool moms and their random facts about themselves.